Learning about hydraulic fundamentals will teach us the meaning and use of the terms force, work, power, and energy transfer. How fast this can happen depends on how much fluid we can move in any given amount of time. As the volume of flow increases, so does the speed of the work being done. To measure hydraulic energy, we have to determine the system's pressure and rate of flow. So we have to add a relief valve to the system to protect everything from excessive pressure. Relief valves are used to avoid all system overloads. The heart of the system is the pump. Pumps create the flow of fluid within a hydraulic system. The basic principle of moving fluid through a pump from the inlet side to the outlet side is very similar for all types of pumps. The actual method used to move the fluid through the pump will vary from one pump type to another. In technical terms, it means the fluid on the inlet side of the pump is displaced to the outlet side. The amount of fluid moved through the pump in one full revolution or cycle of the pump is referred to as pump displacement. Checking the actual pump output against the specified flow at a given speed and pressure will show if a pump has internal leakage and needs to be rebuilt or replaced.